back with another quick video no headshot in the top corner today though i'm experimenting with a new sound recording technique and i'm currently sat under a duvet and there's just not enough space for a camera in here as well unfortunately wheeling the genesis out into action here we'll take another quick look at this at the end of the video um now before getting into some cycling quick tangent what's the best bacon sandwich ever what's the best bacon sandwich this is the gold standard in my eyes so i used to work around the corner from this place st john's bread and wine in london which is a restaurant and what we're looking at here is made with their own bread their own ketchup rare breed bacon you get the idea um it's not even served in the restaurant it's actually just a before hours side hustle now where am i going with this why am i thinking about bacon in a cycling video well this is some footage taken from a couple of rides over christmas it's the middle of winter it's cold but heading out to find what might not be the best bacon sandwich in the world but at least a good one and a hot drink that constitutes more than sufficient incentive to head out into the sticks in my eyes and by sticks i mean rural hertfordshire and the place that we're heading to today is is predominantly uphill um, on the way to it, which is which is good. As you can tell, we're not heading to a trendy part of London. Where we're actually going is just a shed in a pub car park. But don't be fooled by the austere appearance. Here we are. It's a place of some repute, and and this is where it's at. This is not the most aesthetically pleasing bacon bap in the world and it's probably not even the best but it makes a winter ride especially one at christmas um all the more worthwhile and with that it's an about turn and back to base just letting gravity do its work um, and this is in essence for me winter cycling done right watching this footage back the only problem um i can see is the visibility of my clothing i really do need to start wearing some more high vis especially at this time of year but that's easily sorted now let's have a quick look at the genesis um i have done a video on this bike already but i've been out on it a few times now so it was 340 quid off ebay let's wind the clock back and just take a a quick look at how it was when i got it so this is it with the old tires on and the old crank set change both of those and this is how it looks now so just a lot cleaner and more fit for purpose and as a bike it just works it, it really does just work it's a bit on the heavier side but i wouldn't say it's that slow but it's certainly comfortable and it really does the job especially at this time of year i've put a new chain on it now the old one was stretched and that's made it run a lot smoother and i've re-wrapped the bars as you can see here so I've got a few more jobs to do on it yet, which I set out in that older video, um, but I'll get to those soon enough. So, in summary, we got out, mission accomplished. Was it the best bacon sandwich in the world? Well, it was the right tool for the job.